When you are in your car talking to the officer, that is 100% voluntary. You don't need to say anything. You don't need to get out of your car and do field sobriety tests. You don't need to do that breathalyzer. Now, after you are arrested, different story, because at that point, everything they say is on record, everything you say is on record, which you should say nothing, but that's a whole other story. After you're arrested, you have to do the chemical test and you get a choice. Do you want to do blood or do you want to do the breath? Now, if you say no to those, they mark that down and bad things happen. They yank your license for a year. Even if you don't get convicted of the DUI, a buy license, it's all kinds of problems. Most times, unless you've got crazy stuff in your system, which I saw a lot, you want to choose blood. The reason why you want to choose blood is because it's more difficult for the police officers and the system to get it out of you. They got to go get a phlebotomist, which is the blood guy, or they take you to the hospital. So it's going to take more time and it's more accurate. And there's a lot more areas that your defense team can fight on blood.